Hi everyone, welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. My name is Karen and today we're going to be discussing placement of smoke detector at sloping ceiling. So this is still in relation to designing fire detection and alarm system. So just to recap from our uh, previous video, we've talked about smooth ceiling and ceiling with beam construction. So this time we are going to talk about sloping ceiling and what I have here okay, is the first type, which is peaked type. Okay, so if you look at the illustration here, okay, so this is what we call a peak type ceiling. So this is um, the same with, you know, old model houses way back. Um, if you know like castles, you know, so something like that. So those are um, peak type are with peak type ceiling. Okay, so there are certain rules that we need to remember um, so that we will be able to place our smoke detectors efficiently and effectively. Okay, so what are those? Number one, um, from the very peak of your ceiling there is what we call um a certain dead air space okay and um you cannot put a smoke detector from there so what is the measurement of that so from the peak okay there should be a space of 100 millimeters okay that's a big no-no in putting your smoke detector because again that is what we call a dead air space Okay, so once you get that, um, you can then move on to your reference. So reference would be um, the middle of your peak, which is here. Okay, so once you get that, um, you should get a measurement of 900 millimeters from the right and 900 millimeters from the left. So once you're able to get this space right here, you can then put your first detector. So it can either be on the right or on the left. So wherever you feel like it as long as it's meeting the co uh, as long as it is compliant to nfpa so then once you have your first sorry so once you have your first um smoke detector okay so remember um with my previous video there is a maximum of 9.1 meter spacing okay so that's not only applicable to smooth ceiling or ceiling with beam construction as it is also applicable to sloping ceiling so um and also take note that um measurement or in getting the measurement of these um it's always horizontal so we should be meeting so from your reference there should be 9.1 meter spacing to the left and 9.1 meter spacing to the right Okay, and also, um, so that's going to be for your second um, smoke detector and up to the very last. And from that last detector, it shall be placed not more than 4.5 meters from the wall. So moving on to our next slide, we have a new illustration here. Okay, so still the same sloping ceiling, but this time it has a beam construction. So let's take a look at the argument. Is beam depth? less than or equal 10% of ceiling height. How do we get the ceiling height? So he, um, ceiling height is the average height over the slope. So you get the highest and the lowest height. Okay, so once you have that and you find that it's less than or equal 10%, you can then consider it as a smooth ceiling. So once you figured out that it's a smooth ceiling, okay, you can then Place your smoke detector in the ceiling. So, and for the spacing, okay, we are still going to comply with the requirement, which is 9.1 meters maximum spacing, okay, up to the very last detector. So, again, the last detector okay, sh um, shall be placed not more than 4.5 meters spacing from the wall. So moving on to our next argument, 
Okay, number two. Is beam depth more than 10% of ceiling height? Is spacing between beams more than 40% of ceiling height? So remember, our ceiling height is the average. Okay, so that's getting your highest height and your lowest height. And you get the average. So meeting these two, okay, detector shall be located to each beam packet. So now on to our third argument, is beam depth more than 10% of ceiling height? Is spacing between beams less than 40% of ceiling height? So this time it's less than 40% of ceiling height. So if these two arguments are met, then our detector shall be placed not more than 50% of the spacing so detectors shall be located in the ceiling so looking at the illustration you will see here okay so spacing this time will now be 4.5 maximum spacing okay from each smoke detectors and then from the wall it should be 2.25 maximum spacing again that's the 50 percent of the required spacing so now let's move on to the second type of uh, sloping ceiling so we now have shed type so this is what it looks like okay so um how or where you're going to place your first smoke detector so your reference here should be 9 10 millimeters okay from your reference from your peak so once you get that that is your first placement of your smoke detector then um, succeeding smoke detectors should or shall follow the 9.1 meter spacing up to the very last okay and the last detector shall not be more than 4.5 meters maximum spacing from the wall okay so now let's move on to our next slide Okay, so if you notice, um, it has the same illustration as earlier, but this time it has a beam construction in between your smoke detectors. So what's our argument this time? Okay, is beam depth less than or equal 10% of ceiling height? So before you place your first detector, okay, we should get your ceiling height or the average height of your ceiling height. So still that's getting your highest height and your lowest okay then you get the average okay so um in placing your first detector okay it should still be there should always be a distance of 910 millimeters from your peak okay so that's the first placement of your smoke detector okay and then your second smoke detector or the following smoke detector shall be placed after three beams Okay, provided that it's following the 9.1 meter spacing requirement. Okay, up to the very last smoke detector that shall follow the, the requirement as well of 4.5 meters from the wall. Okay, so next argument for our sloping, sloping ceiling shed type okay, is beam depth more than 10% of ceiling height. Again, more than 10% of ceiling height. So what's your reference? Your reference shall always be average height over the slope. Okay, so where to put your first smoke detector? Okay, so following or looking at this illustration, still complying to the 910 millimeter spacing from your peak. Okay, that's the first placement of your smoke detector. Okay, but this time, Okay, um, the succeeding detector shall be placed not more than two beams between or in between. So, spacing between detectors shall be not more than 50% of the listed spacing, which is now 4.5 meters maximum. Okay, and up to the very last detector, which is 2.25 meters max from the wall. So that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you have comments, suggestions, or reactions to our videos, kindly like and share. Okay, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section.
Thank you so much. Bye.